Hello everybody, it's Sephiroth Total 4 for the weekly update. Uh, a few things today. Um, first off, the schedule for this week uh, is pretty much going to be the same as the previous weeks. Um, three episodes of, uh, of uh, Final Fantasy X-2. Um, I'm going to try to get the last Patreon do drawing done today. And uh, um, so that'll be good. Just give me a little bit more free time. Maybe, maybe the non-drawing time after that will be spent on on other projects. We'll see. Um, the Pesach holiday is over. Uh, it was really nice here. Um, it was the first year in a while that I was able to participate fully, um, meaning that I could go to the meals and go to the all the services and stuff. But um, do I feel good? No. <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> this is a very, very large strain on my back, and uh, I am, I'm extremely wiped out. Uh, it was, it was nice though. Um, I like the holiday, especially, like the holidays that have like the two days that I can't use electronics and stuff because two days detoxing off the internet does wonders, mm -hmm. absolute wonders for you. It's gonna ping in a moment. There we go. Um, and, uh, yeah, so, when I come back, I'm just, like, flooded with everything and anxiety, <laughs> and I just want to leave again. Um, but yeah, so it was, it was nice, but I'm very tired. Um, uh, as for other things, um, so I don't remember if we talked about it last week or not, but uh, I have a tentative date for the surgery. I don't remember if I said last week if I had the tentative date, but they change it. This week was, was a whirlwind in terms of talking to the surgeon and stuff, because um, like they called us, we, we wanted it for the 17th, and then they called us and said, we can't do the 17th, even though we had scheduled it. We can't do it for the 17th, um, but we can schedule it for uh, either the 25th of May or this Wednesday, the, the 27th of April. And so it's like, <laughs> because the 27th of April is, it's the 27th, right? It's three days from now. Yeah, 27th of April uh, is, first of all, too soon probably for insurance to, to help out. But also like, it messes up a whole lot of other things. And like, my dad is doing a, um, a presentation this week for our, for our synagogue for uh, Yom HaShoah, which is uh, the Jewish Holocaust Remembrance Day, um, and uh, he he's has a uh, he gives talks and um, he talks about my grandfather who was uh, in U.S. intelligence in the war and a Nazi hunter and a whole bunch of other cool things, um, and it's a very powerful story, but uh, getting me getting surgery the day before that means that A, I would be missing it, and B, uh, it would be really distracting for him when he should be preparing for this really, really important thing about his father. So, um, yeah, not good. And May 25th, aside from being a week later than what I wanted, which is already a long time from now, uh, puts us within, puts the recovery period within um, a week of the next Jewish holiday. So, like, I want to actually be able to participate in that and not, you know, be stuck uh, recovering like I have been for, you know, a bunch of the holidays previous to this. Uh, recovering or in pain, I guess. So, um, so that was, that was a whole mess. Um, finally, on that day, this was all in one day, and, and we were also getting in contact with the insurance to find out if I even had health insurance, because that was a whole mess. Um, and we contacted Social Security, because the disability hadn't got back to us in three months when we filed an appeal for them kicking me off. It turns out that the paperwork they gave us for the appeal was missing a was missing a sheet that, that said, hey, I would like a continuance of, of my coverage while we're appealing. And that caused all of it not to go through 
So they didn't tell us it was missing it, of course. They just ignored us. But um, apparently they're also like swamped. Uh, their, their office just opened up after two years of COVID. And like 8 a.m. in the morning, they just have a line around the block of people waiting to talk to them. So um, I don't know why that, you know, they if they have such a workload, they don't want to hire new people, but it's the government. So, you know, it, it doesn't it doesn't doesn't work. But um, so we faxed that paper in. <laughs> We were thankfully able to fax it in as opposed to going to show up there. Then we talked to our health insurance, my health insurance, um, and found out that I have coverage until mid-July, which is awesome. Um, and so we asked them how to get started on the on the surgery thing, and they're like, "Oh yeah, we'll we'll probably cover it. You just get your get the surgeon to contact your primary doctor so, so that the primary doctor can send a request to the insurance." so that the insurance can send back to the primary doctor, back to your surgeon. Because nothing can be easy and everything has to go through your primary care doctor, which is ridiculous, but whatever, it's another talk. So we started that process and we got the letter from our surgeon to give to the primary care doctor and it's it, it has gone to his office now. So that's being worked on. Then, <laughs> Uh, then, um, the surgeon called us back later in the day. Again, this is all the same day in the middle of last week. The surgeon called us back later in the day, um, that, uh, someone had just canceled and a slot opened up May 11th, which is a week before what I wanted, which I didn't think would work because, um, that's too soon for insurance, but we're already working on the insurance. We've already gotten a whole bunch of the important steps. Uh, done for that. So I'm like, yeah, sure. So hopefully two and a half weeks I'll be getting surgery. Um, the rods are coming out, the screws are staying in because to take them out means chipping them out of the bone cement and it's a problem. So it's just the rods. But once the rods are gone, there's nothing that's going to be moving the screws around. So I'm not going to be feeling the pain that I do, presumably. Um, we still have other questions and we're still waiting to talk to uh, a couple other doctors in the meantime, but that's the plan so far, May 11th. Um, so yeah, I wanted to shoot my brains out at the middle of that day because everything was changing for the worse in terms of scheduling. It was like literally, literally the worst, <laughs> the worst of each possibility, um, but it all worked out eventually. Uh, but yeah, that wasn't a great day. But, um, so that was our adventures this past week. Uh, hopefully things will be a little bit more quiet, uh, going forward, but we'll see. But yeah, my, my back isn't great. Um, surprisingly, I really miss streaming. I want to try to do, like, little streams, like, an hour or less, um, here and there when I'm feeling up to it. I just have to find the games that I want to play for a short amount of time, but people would also want to watch. Um, but yeah, we'll see. They would also probably unfortunately be on short notice because I really just can't, um, I can't schedule these things. Uh, you know, that's just, that's how it is. Um... Let's see, so in other news, Xenoblade Chronicles 3 got bumped up to July 29th, which is really cool. I think uh, they also announced that Splatoon 3 was coming out in September, so that's also really cool. Uh, they put a trailer out for Xenoblade 3, and it looks great, and I'm excited. Um, da, 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 da. Let's see, what else we got over here? Uh, I did two drawings this week. I'll show you one because one of them is uh, So this uh, the patreon drawing was for Han Solo, so yeah, you can see all the stuff reflect in the background whatever um, So yeah, I did it doesn't really look like him. It looks better on Twitter, but um, I Tried going for like a certain style for it uh, more grittier looking it doesn't look like Harrison Ford too much But I think it has a Han Solo look to it at least <laughs> so I don't know 
last week wasn't really great for me. I wanted to get that drawing done though. Um, but yeah, last week was just very hard for me for drawing in general. Um, so yeah. Uh, what else we got over here? Oh yeah, the big thing from last week also. Um, I think that was the same day uh, with all the stuff with the health insurance. Um, was it the same day or was it the next day? I don't know, regardless. Uh, last year was my ninth anniversary of uh, starting my fight against cancer. Um, uh, <laughs> April 19th, 2013 uh, is when I got uh, surgery to take a tumor out of my spine and start this whole crazy process uh, where I am today. And I'm I, uh, every year I record a vlog and this year I really wasn't feeling it. I, I've been very depressed and um, I just didn't want to talk about it. So I started the vlog with an intent of saying uh, just go watch last year's and um, I'll just give an update on this year's. And it ended up being the longest <laughs> the longest vlog I've done at an hour and a half. Um, so, yeah, there's a lot there. Uh, it's probably difficult for people to watch, um, but the first hour is just going through the process from start to finish, like from, from 2011 until now of what I had to go through, and the last half hour or so is a discussion of the um, mental and physiological challenges that I face in general and have faced in general so um yeah not the best but it's a a very good representation of um my psyche at the moment so if you want to know how i'm doing <laughs> uh that's that's the that's the place to go um but yeah for those who have left nice comments either on the video or sent messages or whatever i really appreciate it um I really appreciate just people listening to my story. Um, I've been told by a few people that it helped, it has helped them with their struggles, with whatever problems that they have, um, just seeing me get through it. And um, I want to say thank you, but I also want to say, <laughs> I'm glad you think I'm getting through this. But um, listen, if, if anything, I have, you know, the, the fact is I have made it through all this. And uh, if any of of my victories, or at least lack of defeats, have inspired people to keep fighting, that's amazing. Like I've I've served a purpose in this world, and I appreciate that I have been able to help at least some people in some way with uh, with their lives. Um, yeah. Some of the people, unfortunately, are, are no longer with us, but, you know, it's, it's good sometimes to help someone get through something, and it's good sometimes to help someone to uh, deal with a situation that uh, isn't going to have a good ending, but at least comfort them in the meantime, you know? But, um, yeah, so thank you very much to everyone who, who did... Uh, listen to the feature-length documentary about myself. Um, yeah, but I'll save I'll save more comments for the actual for that actual video. It's there's not really much more to say. Um, anything else happened this week? Oh, yeah, I decided that um, row, row, row your boat is a sea shanty, and there's nothing that anyone could uh, convince me otherwise. My, I was looking up, you know, the qualifications for a sea shanty. Row, row, row your boat is a folk song. It's about maritime travel. It's used to keep pace in maritime travel, which is what sea shanties usually are. So, that's pretty much how it goes so yeah it is who cares about hot dog being a sandwich rover boy is a sea shanty is where the new discussion is
But yeah, so yeah, the next day is the one that was the the big um, the the twentieth is is when is when all the schedules kept changing because I have a thing here on Twitter just being like, hey, don't you hate it when you feel like you can't talk about specific dates for things because they just keep changing and you feel like a liar? Because that's how I feel. Um, I hate saying like, okay, I'm going to have surgery on X date and this is going to happen and then like an hour later someone else changes it and I'm like, okay, cool, now I have to tell everyone who is invested in this that it's all changing. Anyway. Mm. So, anything else that really happened this week? Not really. I finished Great Ace Attorney, the first one. Fantastic game. Um, my brother turned 20 yesterday. Um, and, yeah, that's about it. So, yeah, thank you very much for listening. Um, again, this coming week is going to be... The focus this week is going to be Final Fantasy X-2, obviously. Um, I'm going to try to finish Patreon so that I can work on other things. Um, I'm going to try to find days where my back is feeling good and and get like a small stream in, because it's just been a very long time, and streaming has a much different quality than just hanging it on Discord or anything, you know? Um, but uh, yeah, I have a lot of games that I want to play too. But, uh, yeah. Thank you very much for watching, for listening, um, for doing the things to make the peop the lives of the people around you better, um, or easier, or, you know, just... There's a much larger discussion involved, but I was, I was talking with my parents about a bunch of things, and uh, I came up with a, a line that I, I liked, is that... Um, uh, we're, we're talking about uh, politics, of course, but um, a lot of people are more concerned with being right than doing right, and doing what's right, and um, I think it's something important to think about on when you, when you're trying to do something, and you have to ask yourself the question, Am I trying to do right, or am I trying to be right? Because those two have very, very different implications. Um, being right is an extremely selfish thing. Sometimes it's important to be right, but um, it's a lot more selfish because being right doesn't help the people around you. It just helps yourself. But doing right does help the people around you. And uh, it's important to think about your actions and want to know if you know where 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 they actually lie on those things and have important conversations with yourself about you know whether or not the things that you're doing are who who they are correct for or who they're trying to be right for trying to prove that they're right uh but yeah this is something to think about i guess something for me to think about but uh, thank you very much for listening, for watching, for being the people that you are. I appreciate you very much. Um, I appreciate the support that people have given me now and in the past. And um, yeah, let's see what the next few weeks bring. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye.